All right, so we've gotten started with bubble.us, and we've done pretty much all you can do without creating an account. And so in the basics here, I want to show you how to create an account and show you some of the benefits of that. All right, real simple. Create an account. Click on the arrow. Username and password, etc., etc. Put an email address. One thing that's good about this process is once you create an account, it does not send you an email to confirm it. Um, it just automatically gets confirmed, and you can sign right in. I'm going to do that now go ahead and sign in and the main benefit that you get from creating an account is that you're able to save the sheets that you've worked on and so one thing you want to do is definitely make sure you know how to change the name of the sheet all you do is click in the um, double click in here give it a good title hit enter we'll save that and to actually save that sheet you're gonna click on the save button before I do that I did want to show you this option here the default is that it will auto save every five minutes. I usually leave that on. Better safe than sorry. Go ahead and click save, and there we go. It's saved in here. Another benefit to creating an account is you can create folders to organize your sheets. So I can put a folder here. I can add another folder if I want to have different subjects for my different sheets. Once I have my folder set up, all I have to do is click and drag where I want it to be there we go also in here you can delete sheets as you need to and folders as well alright so that's some of the saving and the uh, different organization that you can do over here I also want to show you one other thing I didn't get to show you before is that you can also label these lines not only can you write in the boxes but if you click on these lines you can give each a, a label here and that's really helpful whenever you're doing these mind maps. It's a really cool tool to have kids be able to label the lines as well as the bubbles. All right, uh, just one more thing I want to show you is some of the things you can do in here with these bubbles and clicking and dragging. You can select more than one bubble to move or to shape by clicking and then holding down control, selecting another one. Whichever ones are selected, they will move together you can grab them. <laughs> you can also hold down the shift key and drag with your mouse and that will select a couple bubbles at a time. So you can do different colors that way, you can change things all at once. Alright, so that is the basics. We've got our bubble maps in here. We've gotten some organization, learn how to save. And in the, uh, beyond the ba basics, I'm going to get into this sharing mode where you can share these sheets with other students or other colleagues. Mm -hmm.